Hi everyone, it's Saturday, it's 10 a.m. and I'm sad right now because Julian left about two hours ago. We're doing the whole long distance thing again. But update, I am back in Seattle. I'm in a new apartment. I'm in the process of unpacking and decorating still, so it's pretty messy. I've got some furniture coming in and I think today to distract myself from my sadness, to make myself feel better, I'm gonna go do a day of shopping, a little retail therapy. I'm gonna take Otis with me, we're gonna walk around the city, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get a pumpkin spice latte. I don't think I've ever had one from Starbucks before. So that will be a fun new experience. And I'll get Otis a puppuccino. Yeah, I'm excited for all the content I can share with you all of decorating this apartment. My strategy this time is to try to really focus on decorating the first couple of weeks so I can actually enjoy the setup for my entire lease rather than waiting until like the last three months of my lease to decorate. We're gonna make a game plan for today. First, we're gonna head to Target, and on the way to Target, you might stop at the dog park. We're definitely gonna stop at a Starbucks to get a pumpkin spice latte and a puppuccino. Maybe we'll sit down somewhere enjoy the drink for a little bit. I need to make a shopping list for Target. So a few things I want to get is I have this giant wall behind me that I need to fill with something. I was thinking like wall shelves. So I'm going to put wall shelves question mark, but maybe a gallery wall. So then that would mean like frames, prints. I ordered two prints from Society6 off of one of my favorite artists. And I'm excited to show that to you all when it gets here. I was just so excited to find that she had prints on Society6. Another thing is I want to get a woven basket to put like throw blanket in or Otis's toys in because his toys are currently scattered all over the floor. Oh, thank you. He just brought me one. The problem is that I need to be able to carry it all back or take an Uber back. But then I have to factor that into the cost of everything. So I have to think about that. Oh, I need mugs. I was thinking about getting like the vintage teacups though. Maybe that's a thrift store item and not a Target item. I mean, dog backpack, but I don't think I'm gonna find that at Target. I think that's gonna be the pet store thing. Oh, they recently opened up a gloss here here in Seattle. So that's kind of cool. I kind of wanna check that out, but that's not in the direction that I'm heading. So maybe later if I have extra time. But yeah, we're gonna go to Target. There's also another store nearby called World Market that I really like. I like the stuff that they have. So maybe I'll go there, check out some things. Oh, I could use some more plates and bowls and dog food bowls. Oh, I just could use another set of those. Um. <laughs> He's so cute. Ugh. I need to go grocery shopping, but I might get groceries delivered. I tried that a couple days ago and I really liked it. It's kind of hard here to grocery shop in Seattle without a car, which before I just take the bus and it was fine, but I'm kind of trying to avoid the bus a bit more. And you're gonna go shopping with me, isn't that right? Okay, so we're gonna get a long walk in. I also need to get a haircut. I think I'm gonna schedule one for tomorrow or Monday. That'll be good. So I'll add that to my list of things to do. My side bangs are completely outgrown. I watched Corella last night and I kind of want to dye my hair like half platinum white and keep it black on the other half. I know Best Dress on YouTube has her hair like that and it looks really cool. And after watching Corella, I kind of want hair like that now, but I don't think I'm gonna do that yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Schedule a haircut. I need to schedule Otis a vet appointment. Like the world is on our side Nothing can bring me down tonight And ooh, baby When we're together, you and I Your touch sends chills down my spine All right, hey. I got a brand new love you getting any of the stuff I originally intended on getting, but I'll show you what I got instead. I went to Target and I just didn't see anything that I really liked out of the things that I was looking for. So then I went to the store called World Market. I first got a 
glass jar, I'm gonna put coffee grinds in here. I also got two bowls. They're kind of like baking dishes, but I'm gonna use them for Otis as two bowls. They're a little bit deeper than the ones he has now, and they're $3 each, which is awesome. I also got some cooking tools. They were having like a buy three, get one free kind of deal. So I'm gonna stick these in the kitchen and add to my collection. I spent about $30 on that stuff from World Market, so not too bad. And then I went to the pet store. I wasn't even planning on going to the pet store, but I got this carrier for Otis. It's the Air 2 K9 Sports Sack. And I take Otis around to a lot of different places and we've tried a few different carriers. I think if you live in the city or you do active things with your dog, having a backpack carrier is so useful. He outgrew his old one that we used to have for him when he was a puppy. And this was pricey. This was like $70. So I carried him on the way back in this thing because he didn't want to walk anymore. Otis, honestly, he doesn't love walks. <laughs> this is gonna come really in handy for those moments where he just decides he doesn't want to walk anymore. But I tested it, he fits really well on it. I got a size medium for him. He's a pretty small dog, but he has a really long torso. So I got him a little bit of a bigger size for the length of his torso. I also ordered a few things off Amazon that have arrived. I got some extension cords. Oh, I also got some drain tub stopper type things so that I can plug my kitchen sink up and my shower tub up so that I can take a bath. Yes, this is my charging station. Everything's just so disorganized in my head that if I don't have physical organization, everything just turns into a mess. So unless I have like a docking station that's meant for my devices, I won't charge my phone, I won't charge my Apple Watch. It looks a lot like the one I used to have, but this one's a little bit bigger so that I can put my iPad on it as well. You can charge your AirPods right here. You can charge your Apple Watch here and it has these slots so you can put your phone, another phone if you want to, an iPad, and I'm just gonna put this on my nightstand and it's gonna be so nice to have. It's gonna look so organized. I'm very excited about it. I've been sitting here trying to figure out groceries for the week and I came across this TikTok account. I think she was a part of Bon Appetit, so I might be just really out of the loop. Her TikTok username is Zainab Isa and she has a ton of really great recipes on her TikTok account. She makes it really quick and easy to understand what you need for the recipe and it's amazing. She has a cookbook and now I'm really interested in her cookbook, but basically I was trying to figure out what recipes I want to make this week. This is my first time in a while being completely alone, completely in charge of what I'm eating. I went a little extra and I made a little spread in my bullet journal. So I want to show you all what my plan is for this week. Here, this is a whipped feta and tomato tart. It's on a puff pastry. This could be a good breakfast, a good snack. We've got a Greek salad. That sounds really good for the summertime. Sun-dried egg and avocado toast. Not sure if I want to do that one. Eggplant parmesan. This one I already knew how to make and I make quite often. So I'm probably just going to make another one of those because it lasts for so many meals. Little recipe for Otis. I like to make him some home-cooked food as well because I don't trust kibble to have all the nutrition that he needs. And a mushroom and bell pepper saute, which I kind of knew beforehand as well. I'm actually going to order groceries for delivery. I'm going to use Shipt, which I've used them before. I used them back in college during this phase where I didn't have access to a car and I was just really busy so I'm gonna try using them again and we're gonna see how this goes. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.
think I'm about overdue for a I knew yesterday I was going to be sad and that I just wanted to mope around all day because Julian left, so I did that. And then today, I made sure to make plans with friends for brunch to get myself out of the apartment and doing something. So I did that. I went to Odd Fellows in Capitol Hill, one of my favorite brunch places in Capitol Hill, Seattle, with some friends that I haven't seen in a while. It's crazy because I feel like it hasn't been that long since I've seen them because time has just kind of been a blur, but it has been probably over a year. Afterwards, we walked around the farmer's market a bit. I got a bunch of things. I kind of felt pressured to get the grapes though because the lady behind the stand offered a sample and it was really good. I didn't quite want to spend $5 on grapes, but I felt bad because I ate her sample and she was so nice. So then I got some grapes. It was a struggle getting back here. There's a lot of hills. I had Otis in a backpack because he didn't want to walk anymore and I was carrying all the things I got from the farmer's market and also an additional bag with my jacket, wallet, phone in it and everything. So came back very sweaty and I've been just kind of resting, watching Bachelor in Paradise. My setup's pretty nice. I have my little iPad on a laptop stand. Odie is cuddling and sleeping next to me. But I kind of want to take more advantage of the weekend. So I'm trying to decide what I should do next. I've been really wanting to go to this beach, Madison Park, on the east side of Seattle because supposedly they have diving boards on a platform there. And that just sounds like heaven. That sounds absolutely amazing. But if I go there, I probably don't want to leave Otis home alone. So then I would have to bring him and then I would not be able to go on the diving boards because I don't think Otis can jump on the diving boards. And I don't even know if he's allowed to swim on the beach. Another option, I could go to the thrift store, try to find some vintage teacups, which is what I've been looking for, some artwork, maybe some wall shelves if they have that. To the ones who lost their hope. Water, I can't help but drink. 